knocked out on the cycling tires, that car is completely different. Something tells me the way that thing took off as fast as it was, he didn't like the direction it was going, needed an adjustment, decided to do so for, for that very thing. Long run. Larry, what do you got? Well, what I like about a long run right here is when I look at the stages for tomorrow, they're 90, 95, and 108. Going back and watching this race from a year ago, talking to a lot of crew chiefs, right now, depending on cautions, the tentative plan is split stage one and half, split stage two and half, but split stage three, that longer stage, in the thirds. We're going to go back racing with about 100 laps to go in that final stage, so if you can make a 30 to 35 lap run right now, that's going to simulate what you're going to be running in that final stage. Well, I like that too, Larry. And, and sometimes it's not comfortable. You have a you know a little hiccup or something go wrong, but it's always better, even if you're off the pace, to just run this run out to whatever lap you think you can run to. But if you run to that 35, 40 lap mark, you have a good idea of what the fall off is going to be. So the most important thing is got to get our heights right. We got to get the, as much air out of the tires as possible. To your point, Gibbs, Logano, and Bell, 33 laps each. Now Gregson and Nemechek and Grala, along with Jones, Haley, and Priest, all right around that 30-plus uh, lap mark for this session. So everybody's talking, including me. We're looking at it. I'm looking at the graph, what we look at for lap times and the fall off, moreover. This 20 car is lights out better than anybody. Now, it doesn't show up that good and present well in the best consecutive 15, 20, and this is why. Every now and then, he'll hit lap traffic and bail out. Early in the run, he bailed out and gave up a lap, and it was way off the pace. But when it comes to putting a lap down, being in clean air, and doing uh, what he needs to do on the racetrack. This car is, in my opinion, the fastest on the track. Yeah, and you see, he was going to come to pit road right there, and Joey Logano came to pit road in front of him. So you got to have a good idea on these old tires. It's so hard to get the car mowed down. Uh, but typically, I would use my same let off uh, spot on the back straightaway and just act like you're driving into that corner like normal, like Christopher Bell's getting ready to do coming down the back straightaway. He's going to come into turn three, hit the brakes, stay up on the racetrack, and then turn down into the pits. Checkered flag will be out this time by, or rather the red and black flags, to end this session. And the old pirate, Michael McDowell, has won Group A practice with a lap of 29.022.